Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. So in this video, I'm doing a little pick a card to see what blessings are coming to you. I figured people could use some good news whenever it is that you're watching. So we have four groups today. Group one is Rose Quartz. And they're all pre-shuffled today. Group two is Smoky Quartz. Group three is Amethyst. And group four is Citrine. All right, so as always, this is a general pick a card, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if you need to take some time to meditate on the cards and crystals, feel free to do so, and I will start with group one. Hello group one, those of you who chose the Rose Quartz, let's see what blessings are coming to you. So first off, we have a blessing of the Butterfly Queen. So this is an amazing card to get because this talks about inner and outer transformation, not only of yourself, but as, in your life as a whole. So if you've been looking for some like big, like radical transformation, or you feel like you've been going through like an inner transformation, doing a lot of inner growth, but you're not really seeing it reflecting externally and you would really like it too, I am seeing that happening for you, which is amazing. So this is kind of like an inner and outer glow up of yourself and your life. So if you haven't been feeling particularly beautiful, that is also something coming through. If you're like, I just feel like my external self is not really reflecting my inner self anymore, I'm seeing those things lining up. So kind of like mind, body, soul, external environment, all feeling like they're in harmony, which is absolutely amazing group one. So next we have a blessing for solace and hope. So if this is your blessing coming through, clearly there's some things that have been making you feel like it's hard to cling on to hope. It's hard to look to the future with like a hopeful eye and a hopeful mind and hopeful emotions. So I'm really seeing that for you, that you're getting a little bit of peace. You're getting some hope for the future. Even if everything doesn't look great in your life, you're gonna see some things and it could be related to this butterfly queen energy coming through as well. They could be kind of linked up here where all this transformation, you start to see it happening and I'm seeing 111 on the clock. So you might see a lot of synchronicities that might actually be where this hope comes from. Weird things lining up where even if you can't see exactly how they're gonna play out, the universe, your guide, spirit, whatever you believe in is really, really giving you all the signs you need to have hope for your future. So next we have a blessing to find your way. So honestly, I feel like you have been kind of in this cocoon state for a long time. You've been like, I don't know which way to go. I don't know like which person to be with. I don't know what job I wanna do. I don't know what my purpose is. Or if you were kind of settled in a purpose, you were settled in a relationship or a job, something like that. Um, some of you I'm even seeing like a living environment. You got settled in a house or a certain country. And you're like, I don't know if this resonates anymore. And so you've been going through this big inner transformation, doing all this inner work, figuring it out. Um, some of you might even been, um, might have even been feeling quite lonely and like you don't belong is something I'm getting. But we have a blessing to find your way. So I'm seeing that like, even if it's been like really foggy, you are gonna be able to see that kind of light at the end of the tunnel. I'm getting really stuffy when I'm doing your reading in particular right now. So I'm really, really feeling like spirit is really close to you. That's what I'm getting. There's just, there's so much energy coming through for you. I feel like it's been like piling up and piling up and piling up. So that, if you've been feeling that, that's just another confirmation that you chose the right group and that this is really lining up for you. If you've been feeling like you've been in this cocoon state with energy piling up, piling up, piling up, when am I going to be able to release it? When is it going to manifest into a better life? When am I going to actually feel better externally versus just all this like inner work I've been doing? So this is going to come through soon for you. And maybe this rose quartz was what you were drawn to because you need a little extra comfort. You might feel you need a little extra love. And that could be that kind of solace and hope coming through from spirit as well, really helping you to feel nurtured, to feel taken care of. Because 
And just that energy coming through for you, I feel that you are someone who is really ready to take care of others, to help others feel emotionally well. That is something that you gift to others all the time, helping them to feel loved, helping them to feel their best self. But it's not really always given back to you, at least not as much as you give to others. So this is your blessing that you are going to feel taken care of in some way, shape, or form. Now, for your tarot, I'm going to lay them all out at once. We have the moon, we have the empress, and we have the three of wands. So it's interesting the way these kind of line up, which I know I didn't shuffle on camera, so you can either trust me or not. <laughs> so we have this blessing for solace and hope, and we have the moon. So I feel like you've been dealing with a lot of difficult inner emotions, but you've also been gaining a lot of intuition and wisdom. You've been really kind of like, kind of put in the crucible, so to speak, to just kind of like do all of this growth, all of this work at once. And it's been lesson after lesson after difficult situation and difficult emotions and shadow work and inner child stuff comes up and you're like, oh my goodness, what is this leading to? <laughs> so what it's leading to is first of all, you're going to get these signs that hope is on the way, something better is on the way. Then you're going to feel this transformation. We have the butterfly queen with the empress. So you are definitely, and I know this might feel shallow to some people, but it's not. Our vessel is important. You're going to be feeling so much more beautiful. You're going to be feeling so much more confident. And that's going to help you just walk through the world in a happier way. I feel like, you know, with this moon energy, it is important. It's important to process those emotions. But if you've been sitting there for a while, like you have, you can start to feel kind of bogged down. You can start to feel like you're kind of drowning in all of this, these difficult feelings, even if you know that it's important. So you're kind of like, coming up for a breath of fresh air. That's really what I'm seeing is you're like finally surfacing, you're able to breathe, you're able to bask in some of this beauty, and people are going to see that reflected in you as well. There is so much that all this, what I've been getting from the beginning is all this inner work, it's like finally creating something. It was like it was storing up, storing up, storing up before it would create anything. And part of this thing that's being created is your external self is just, it's really reflecting who you are on the inside, like Mulan said. And it's like, it's just really beautiful. And beauty means a different thing to everyone. So it's difficult to even talk about beauty, but you know, whatever beauty means to you, you are feeling more beautiful and others are perceiving you as more beautiful, more radiant. That's the word that's coming through is radiant. You just kind of bring this like fresh light to others' lives and in yours. Like, I can't stress enough, like you're going to look in the mirror and like just see this light coming out of you. You're going to be able to see your soul like through your eyes and just through the way that you move. This is something really, really powerful. The Empress energy isn't something to just like, you know, look the other way from. It's something that's incredibly beautiful, radiant. You are just shining out abundance. When people are around you, they feel comfortable. You feel comfortable around yourself. So if any of those things have not been how you're feeling now, this is going to be the most refreshing thing in the world. Now to have the three of wands with a blessing to find your way, this path is opening up for you. That's just what I'm seeing. We have foresight, exploration. So you're going to see the path that you want to explore. That's what I'm getting here with, with this beautiful glow up and all this introspective... <laughs> introspection we've been doing I really feel that like you've been considering what if I go this way what if I go that way or you know just doubting allowing yourself to doubt is so powerful and I feel like you've been doing that and spirit is just gonna kind of like light up a couple of these paths a little brighter than the rest or light up one of these paths a little brighter than the rest that's what I'm seeing and go with the one that sparks the most happiness within you because now that you're feeling happier now that you're feeling more beautiful you're feeling more yourself word it that way you're feeling more yourself you might think that this is just like oh I feel like someone else but you're not someone else you're feeling more yourself that's just how powerful this transformation has been so for you, group one, and you got the rose quartz, come on, like this is definitely a stone of beauty. It's a stone of love as well. So if you've been looking for love, 
that's that's very very likely that someone is coming through because as i said you're absolutely radiant you're coming into this energy and if someone is meant to be like magnetized to you they're not going to be able to resist <laughs> frankly so but i'm also seeing you magnetizing abundance so you're going to find the path if you've been like looking like i don't know which path to take i feel like i want to change paths I really feel that you're either going to change paths and be very sure of it, or after doubting, you're going to feel so confident in the path you've been on. You're going to get the insight that you were on the right path the whole time, even if it needed a little bit of tweaking. It might have just been that you needed to feel more confident. You needed to find your inner beauty, your inner light, your inner confidence. So you're feeling confident about the path you're on. Some of you were changing it a little bit, but you're going to get the insurance insurance the assurance that you're going the right way if you do need to change you're feeling better you're looking better you're attracting abundance um it's kind of a special message here for those of you who have some kind of passive income or are self-employed i really feel that you're attracting a lot more abundance you could be getting some kind of promotion because you're really sticking out any of these difficult emotions you're getting to this state of like hope you're getting to a state of a little more peace um if the waters have been a little rough so to speak emotionally they're settling down so all this transformation can occur so that's what i have for you group one thank you so much for coming through and i will see you next time hello group two so those of you who chose these smoky quartz let's see what blessings are coming to you as i move group one's crystal out of the way so your first card here is amazing it's a blessing of nuifra i hope i'm pronouncing that right so this blessing talks about life force health vitality it talks about if you've been feeling kind of nervous if you've been feeling like your body is a little brittle a little frail if you've just been feeling kind of unwell um that's turning around. It's talking about life force energy. It's talking about vitality. It's talking about like a little more vigor coming back to you. Um, and this can be in life in general, like your external surroundings, if they felt a little dull, but this is mostly talking about specifically your soul and your body and your mind. If they've been feeling just very, very tired, if you've been feeling yourself, like your energy's a little lackluster, like there's just less energy than usual, there's less inspiration, um, it's harder to even move, things like that. Now, I'm not a doctor, if you need a diagnosis, please like do what you need to do, but what's coming through in the cards is more life force energy, more vitality, more energy. So, and that's a beautiful, beautiful foundation from which to go off of. If you're trying to make other things happen, you can't really make that happen if your body is just completely exhausted. So that's amazing. We have a blessing on a homecoming. So first of all, I'm seeing you feeling a lot more at home. I feel that your heart is feeling a little more at home, if that makes sense, because we have a lot of green energy coming through and not every card in this um fairy deck is green and there's a lot of green coming through. So I do feel your emotions feeling more at ease, you were drawn to this um, smoky quartz, so I just feel you feeling more at home, feeling more grounded, feeling more at peace in your heart center, um, like having more energy, but also feeling more like at peace with your emotions, at peace with where you're living. If you do need to like change your living situation, that could be something coming through as long as you can do that safely if you're watching when I'm recording. And we have a blessing from your ancestors. So I am seeing kind of a lot of different things coming through with this. I feel for some of you, you're going to feel their presence. And I I kind of use like different, like I feel, I see, I hear like when I'm doing readings. But for you, it's all been like feel, very feel based. So I do, <laughs> I do feel that when your ancestors come through, you know, as I was drawn to kind of like the heart center, if your emotions have been really off, if you've been feeling just a lot, lot, lot of like despair, of negative emotions that are in turn affecting your energy, affecting your body, making you feel like I don't even want to move, I just feel like I can't get up in the morning, your ancestors, your guides, whatever you believe in is like, you know, that guiding force, but 
it is coming through his ancestors, <laughs> um, you're gonna feel their presence. And how you're going to feel their presence mostly is through like uplifting emotions. They may help you to dive into some of those more difficult emotions if you feel you haven't really done that yet, but you're going to be coming out of this. They're gonna help you to feel uplifted. They're gonna help you to feel like positive emotions can actually come in and you can kind of move through life again, that you can have that vitality, you can have that life force energy. So that is really beautiful here. Another thing I would say, honestly, if this is resonating to just kind of thank your ancestors, because a message that's coming through is they may be dealing with some obstacles that you can't even see. I'm seeing this as kind of like two things is they may make an obstacle really, really obvious for you. Like if someone or some job or some external circumstance is making you feel this um, this way with your energy, making you feel exhausted, they may make it like very obvious. But another thing I'm seeing is there are some obstacles that they're just kind of handling, like kind of steering people off your path who have like negative intentions towards you. Um, if you feel like this hasn't really been your own emotional state, but maybe someone has like the evil eye on you, if someone has like negative intentions towards you, I'm seeing your ancestors really stepping in and kind of like reflecting that back, really guarding you, protecting you from anything that is making you feel less than, anything that's making you feel exhausted. We have the Queen of Cups. So just kind of, if that resonates, just thank your ancestors because they are doing a lot behind the scenes. Even if you feel like there are still some obstacles, I feel like they are steering a lot of them off your course. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. I didn't take reversals, but this like flipped out, so we're honoring that. And we have the Seven of Acorns or the Seven of Wands. So I do feel a lot of divine energy with two sevens coming through. But we have one reverse and one upright, so I'm kind of seeing like if you felt an absence of the divine, if you felt an absence of like divine intervention, help from your ancestors, help from your guides. Again, you have the Queen of Cups, and I was like drawn to like feeling, feeling, feeling. So this is about like your life force energy, your emotions, and your spiritual self feeling reinvigorated. With the Seven of Wands, I'm feeling like it's felt like a real uphill battle. It's felt like people were against you. And I'm seeing that, you know, even more in the Seven of Swords. This can talk about, like, people who have bad intentions towards you. This can talk about, like, hidden enemies. And it came through in reverse. So I'm feeling like they are going to be either dealt with by your ancestors, you know, or they're gonna come to light in a really obvious way. That is what I'm seeing. Like, pay attention to how people are making you feel. I feel like like I'm hearing like gaslighting, like you might be around some people who are just like, with this uphill battle, I feel like, you know, yes, we all have challenges, but I feel like you might have some people or some circumstances that are just making things unnecessarily difficult. I mean, if you work in, like, customer service or something, this could be, like, the people who are, like, your customers, things like that, especially right now. People are giving people a real hard time. Um, but I am seeing they're really, like, your guides, your ancestors, they're kind of tired of watching you in this, like, constantly defending yourself. Like, you are learning a lot of lessons. You are gaining a lot of, as it says, determination, stamina. That's a blessing in itself. But it's kind of, like an exhausting blessing and I feel like you know that group too like you just feel <sighs> let's take a let's exhale group two because I feel like you probably feel really exhausted at the time of coming to this reading this could even be people within your own home who are just like constantly spewing out nonsense they might just be like telling you what to do they're just not really working with you they're kind of making more and more friction they're making everything difficult this is dissipating or your guides are helping you to at least energetically like separate yourself from this if you can't quite move away yet if these are people at your job if they're co-workers if they're customers your ancestors are helping you to just not be energetically affected again like i do feel like intentionally or unintentionally some people might just have 
like they're making their problems your problems and so your guides and ancestors are protecting you so that you can feel invigorated so that you can have these crystal clear emotions because it's it feels like your emotions might have been kind of foggy it feels like your emotions might have felt kind of distorted because other people are just like sending all this like negativity and life feels again it feels like you're constantly defending yourself and like taking three steps forward and 70 back <laughs> and um it's like people are pushing you back that's what i'm getting so this blessing is you know if this seven of swords is about like some self-sabotaging tendencies that could be something coming through because it is in reverse it could kind of be pointing within but just the way this is kind of lined up it feels like it might be both honestly it feels like you might be constantly telling yourself like i can't do this i'm never gonna feel better and that's not helping but at the same time your ancestors are coming through and saying well with all the things going on in your external world we can only really expect so much of you you're learning a lot of lessons you're trying very hard you're really trying to tap into your intuition you have a strong intuition but it feels like there's so many things like kind of working against that that you might have just needed some divine intervention so your emotions they are going to be more clear your intuition is getting more clear we have here the keywords are peace and compassion so i feel like your compassion is finally going to be reflected back to you this may be by um people in your environment but honestly if you have a certain expectation of them and you're like there's no way that's fine i'm seeing your ancestors reflecting it back to you so you can at least feel like someone's there you're going to feel if if no one's showing up for you in your life as i'm gonna say i'm gonna say it that way um your ancestors are showing up for you your guides are showing up for you the divine is showing up for you and I know that might seem like a crappy consolation prize, but it is something very beautiful. They're coming through. So at least you have someone, even if you'd rather have like people show up for you. So this is really, really beautiful group too. I feel for you, I know it's hard to kind of be hopeful. That's really what I'm getting. If, especially with like your first blessing card coming through, if your body is just exhausted, it's hard to feel hopeful for anything. So I really feel you, you know, I feel for you but the divine is coming through for you. You're gonna feel more at home. Um, and if you're trying to change homes, they're saying like, we'll get there, we can do it. It's gonna take some work, but we're helping you to achieve that. Let's start with you, let's start with your body, let's start with your emotions to just help you feel better so that you can work towards that, so you can manifest what you want from just like a better foundation. So that is what I have for you, group two. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Hello, group three, those of you who chose the amethyst, let's see what blessings are coming through for you. So we have a blessing of glamour, and this is a really amazing card, and I'm reading this in a few ways for you. So first of all, I'm seeing that this is helping you, this is actually similar to one of the other groups, but I'm going to let you figure it out if you were um, drawn to that one. So I'm seeing that you are going to be feeling better about your appearance. And I know some people like that might feel shallow, but it's not. <laughs> your appearance, like you're allowed to feel however you want about your body. You're allowed to want to look a certain way. If it's coming from a healthy place, there's nothing wrong with wanting to look beautiful. So I'm seeing like, I feel like I was drawn to say that because I feel like some people are just like throwing out opinions about your appearance like you need to look this way or why are you spending so much time on this why do you look like that and this is about you feeling more confident about that that's what this blessing of glamour also talks about it talks about you feeling more confident even if you don't really feel that confident if that makes sense it's helping you to get that boost to say this is an intimidating situation i feel afraid but i'm gonna do it anyway i'm stepping up i'm putting on face that's what the glamour is talking about you being able to put on a brave face you being able to take certain actions to say certain things even if you're terrified and i feel like i need to repeat that this blessing of glamour talks about you being able to speak your truth even if it's terrifying it's talking about you being brave enough to wear what you want to wear 
to be who you to be who you want to be Barbie girl and even if others have all these opinions even if it's terrifying even if it's the scariest thing in the world everyone's got all these opinions everyone's got all this criticism of you that's what I'm feeling is like every step you take like everyone has their input everyone has these criticisms everyone has like I'm almost hearing like not even constructive criticism they're just like are you sure you want to do that are you sure you want to wear that why are you doing that and this isn't even saying like that's dissipating it's saying you're getting this I don't give uh you know what about what you have to say I'm going to do me I'm going to be myself like I owe that to myself I deserve to be exactly who I want to be I deserve to dress how I want to dress to do my makeup how I want to say what I want I don't have to be polite if people are being rude to me I can defend myself and I can speak my truth there is something really really powerful coming through with this card and I'm feeling this energy coming through it's not just like the cards meaning there's an energy here of really standing up for yourself really showing up for yourself because I feel like you know this, this again is like similar to another group where it's like there might be you might not feel like a lot of people are showing up for you or throughout your life you might feel like not a lot of people have shown up for you and it's like you're saying you know what that doesn't mean that I don't deserve that so I'm showing up for myself I'm defending myself I'm saying what I want to say and we have a blessing of clear foresight. So this is actually quite different. <laughs> if these are related, let me know in the comments. But this is like if you haven't been able to see what's coming, if you've been having a really hard time planning, or like I have no idea what path I want to take, I don't know which direction I want to go, or like things are always coming out of nowhere. I feel like your, your intuition is telling you exactly what's coming and exactly where to go. I'm going to repeat that. Your intuition will be telling you exactly what's coming and exactly where to go and exactly what to do. And with this blessing of glamour, you're unapologetically acting on your intuition. You're saying, well, I want to switch my job to this. I feel like I should I should say this to this person. I feel like I should um, prepare for this. I feel like I should um, start this kind of diet if it feels good for me or get off of this diet if it feels bad for me. Um, it's just something really, really like stepping into your strength here. And it's really, really amazing. So we have a blessing of the waters. So what this is saying is, first of all, it's about cleansing. And let me tell you that I've been really tuned into the fact that the energy here is really potent. It feels like very, very sweet, very alluring, but just very, very like in your power. So if you've been feeling like you've had to like hand your power over to others, feeling like you have to like dim your light, have to like hide some of who you are, it's like you are stepping out of the light and you're saying this is exactly who I am and you're flowing with it unapologetically. So you are feeling very, very cleansed right now. And I feel like, and not in a body policing kind of way, just take this as it resonates. If you feel like there's something that you've been taking in, be it like, um, like a certain kind of media and there's no like good or bad anything it's just how it makes you feel if you're taking something in that makes you feel bad I feel that you're kind of going on a cleanse from it like let's say you doom scroll social media for six hours a day and you're like hmm this doesn't really make me feel good anymore or you like eat a certain kind of food which again eat what you want but if it's not making you feel good anymore I'm seeing you kind of cleansing from that whatever this means to you this is about your emotions feeling kind of crystal clear once again it feels like your emotions might have been clouded um your energy might have felt kind of muddy like you don't have the foundation like to work off of that you usually do and so that's clearing up that's part one of this is the cleansing. That's part one of the blessing of the waters. Part two <laughs> is like you can actually interpret your emotions again. You can see them. They are more clear. You're saying this is how I feel. One, so you can feel it. It's crystal clear. Two, you can interpret it. You can say, what does that mean? And I feel like this plays in so beautifully with that blessing of clear foresight because you're saying, Hmm, this person makes me feel like crap. What does that say about this relationship? When I talk to this person or when I think of making this decision, 
or switching to this job or changing my outlook or changing my approach, it makes me feel good. That's telling you exactly where to go. I'm getting clairsentient vibes here. That's That makes a lot of sense, actually, with what I was getting from the Glamour card. I feel like you do kind of absorb... First of all, like, for some reason, people are just drawn to criticizing you. People very much project on you all the time um, in a very mirror-like way. That's something I'm seeing with the glamour as well. It's showing me a mirror that people, if they don't like themselves, they see a mirror in you, so they feel the need to criticize literally everything you do. Okay, and on top of that, you are sensitive, you are clairsentient, so you absorb it 100%. Not only what they're saying but you feel what they're feeling. So you're getting this clarity of like, what's their emotions versus what's mine because you're being cleansed. Oh, I'm getting the chills. I'm getting the chills group three. This is like a blessing of like your intuition. If it's been muddied, it's getting so clear. And in that clarity, you can feel this is another person's emotions versus this is mine. I feel for you, it's been so hard to wade through the waters of like the emotional realm because you take on everyone's emotions. And this is your strength, but it's a pretty hard one to possess. Like it takes a, a bit to master it, especially in this day and age when so many people just love to project on other people, when people love to blame everyone else for everything or just to ignore their own emotions and stuff them down. Wasn't I, like, were you the one I was getting, like, gaslighting with? <laughs> that, again, might have been another group. But I feel like since you can feel other people's emotions and intentions, and you might approach them about it and they lie, that can get really confusing. But that confusion, again, um, I'm not describing all this to say it's continuing happening. It's to kind of, like help it resonate if that's where you've been coming from so we can say it's becoming more clear you're going to be able to differentiate this is their emotions this is their intention this is their problem it's not mine what are my emotions telling me what are my issues what do i need to work through what do i want that's another thing i feel like you're getting very clear on what you want so you can finally move forward because people have always been trying to tell you what they want for you what you should do um you know even like their morals and their religions things like that that's all coming through is you're finally getting this clarity of what do i want and where do i want to go and it's really scary but you're stepping up to it anyway. So we have, this one's a little rough. We have a blessing for those who are nearing their final breath. So I'm really getting, I'm not going to talk about this one too much because I don't want anyone to get like too um, upset if it is resonating. For those who resonate with this one, if someone is kind of in the process of passing or has recently passed or you just still mourning, which is totally valid, even if it's been years and years. You're just feeling close to them, but you're also feeling at peace. And there is so much here about reflection, about emotions, but also like you can reflect on the past and think of the good times or without dwelling and saying, oh, I should have done this. I should have said this kind of making peace with the present in regards to those who are passing or have passed. You know, you have this foresight. I feel like instead of saying, instead of hindsight, we're gaining foresight. You might have been in this state of trying to look back on your past, whether this is relating to a loved one or not, you might have been in this state of saying, I should have done this, I should have done that. Every time you gain wisdom, you say, oh, I should have done this. But you were doing this, this is something that comes through pretty frequently, um, is that you you are gaining so much wisdom and again there's so much intuitive energy coming through with your pile like you are growing so much all the time you are like constantly transforming it's this very snake like energy where you're always shedding old skin and then feeling vulnerable and then growing so it's really easy to say from this new place of wisdom i should have done this and that but instead say i'm going to do better instead of dwelling on the past and saying i should have done this i should have said that Say, what am I going to do tomorrow? What am I going to do today to make a better present, to make a better future? Because you're not going to sit here and change the past. So if you need to feel a certain kind of way, allow those emotions to come through, but then change what you can change, which is your present moment and which is your tomorrow, which is your next week. 
tell your loved ones you love them instead of saying like, oh, I wish I had told this person I love them more. First of all, you know, you can reach out to them because you are connected to them. That's something coming through is you are going to feel closer to this loved one if you are really, really like, if there's something you need to say, they're listening. That's something coming through really powerfully. There's so much emotion in this pile. Um, but this is also saying instead of like regretting and regretting and regretting, like tell your loved ones around you, spend more time with them, um, say what you want to say. So we have the two of wands. We have the five of swords. And we have the four of wands. So I want to focus on this four of wands really quickly because this is saying that you're coming to a place that's more comfortable, more at home. And again, like there are some overlaps coming through the different piles, um, which I think is amazing that people can be tapped into very similar energies. So with the two of wands and the four of wands, you know, we literally have foresight and this says insight and focus. So I feel like you're getting focused on what you do want to create with this five of swords. I love how I said, let's focus on the four of wands and I immediately went to the other cards so it's fine I feel like you might have had a tendency to dwell on old battles and you're releasing that you are releasing old battles if you can't change it if it's in the past if it is literally or metaphorically just gone you're not spending all your time focusing on it you know if you need to mourn again I really want to honor those who are in mourning here, but I feel you getting to a place where you can once again think about your present. That's what I'm seeing with the four of wands and your home and your loved ones and the kind of life you want to create, creating a comfortable environment for yourself, no matter what anyone else is saying about it. <laughs> and you're thinking about your future again. There's been a tendency here to dwell on the past, to dwell on the pain, loss, and you're once again like finding that hope, finding that hope for the future and finding that love and comfort in your present. So again, <laughs> I feel like I want to leave on that. You're finding that hope for the future and you're finding your comfort in the present. You're getting a lot more emotional peace. You're being able to differentiate between what your feelings are versus this person's telling me this and that and they think I should be that way and they think women should dress this way and men should dress that way and you're like, I'm going to dress how I want, I'm going to be who I want, I'm going to say what I want and I'm going to create the future that I want and I'm going to be able to tap into exactly where I want to go because I'm so much more in tune with how I feel and what I don't like and what I do like. There's something really like you stepping right back into your power instead of saying, oh, I, was, I, I wasn't in my power a year ago. I wasn't in my power when I was a child. You're saying, this is what I deserve. This is what I like. And I'm taking that. That is mine. That's always been mine. Comfort and love have always been mine. Peace has always been mine. It's always been yours, group three. So I see you just reclaiming so much. So, 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 so much. <laughs> this is really beautiful, group three. I'm very happy. There are some heavier energies here, but since this is about blessings and we have the five of swords, this is about you working through them and releasing them. That's really beautiful. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Hello, group four. Last but not least, those of you who chose the citrine, let's see what your blessings are. So your first blessing card is really beautiful. It is a blessing of Awen. So this helps you to feel more inspired, but this is kind of more like a magical divine inspiration. It's very spiritual based. There was another group that was like kind of like a surge of energy and inspiration, but it was more about the body feeling versus you. It's like you get a whole new outlook. It's kind of like romanticizing your day to day life. And that might feel like Oh, if you're, I'm romanticizing things, that means I'm just like faking it. I'm not seeing things how they are. But this helps you to see the perspective that romanticizing these day-to-day -day things is actually you seeing them how they are. It helps you to see the divine within yourself. Divine inspiration is coming up within you and you're able to see the divine in others, in nature, in your external environment. So... 
we have a blessing to ease loneliness and bring companionship. So again, like if you've been feeling like your life has just been kind of dull, this helps to bring that like sparkle factor in, if that makes sense. And then I'm also seeing you feeling less alone. So one, I'm seeing this starts with feeling a connection to spirit, feeling like even when I am alone, I am never alone. Spirit is with me, the universe is within me, and I'm connected to all people and all souls. So that's something coming through, but also I am seeing you finding more like-minded people. If you're very alone right now, if you can't go out and like touch or be with people, you're gonna be able to communicate with people, you know, a lot of people, this is going to mean online if you're watching when I'm recording this just because of how things are. Um, that's something I'm seeing though, is just you, however you do come across this, you are going to feel less lonely. You are going to find friends. And I know for some of you, I can just tap into your energy that you're like, there's no way, there's no way. Just like look in the comment section here, like look in some online chat groups. That is what I'm seeing. Have the confidence to reach out because that's what I'm getting with the color of this card and your citrine that you chose is you might have to find the confidence which may come with this first blessing that might be some of that that spark that ignites within you is saying maybe I should reach out maybe instead of feeling lonely I should reach out and try to find some like-minded people to find like some kind of page some kind of group some kind of like just place where people can come and talk or just feel seen you know and again that can be the comment section under this video you're all drawn to the same kind of video um you're all hoping to see the blessings coming forward in your life and you will find people who are very much in your energy who chose group four <laughs> you know so there's that and we have a blessing to find the truth so that's interesting that we have a blessing to find the truth when I said what I said about this first blessing, where some of you might feel like you're deluding yourself if you romanticize things, if you see the beauty in your external environment, um, if you see the beauty within yourself, even if, even if there's things you want to change. I feel like you're, go you're coming to this place where you realize the truth that is, even if you want things to get better, even if you want things to change, there might be some beauty around you. Even if there's way more things you want to change, there might be some beauty around you. There might be some things to be grateful for, like you're breathing in air. <laughs> Are you breathing in clean air? Because you better be grateful for that because not everyone is breathing in clean air. I say as I'm burping. The air is not clean anymore. So another thing is if you feel like someone's been kind of holding back the truth, and since we do have this about companionship and loneliness, someone might be coming forward and telling you something about how like they feel about you. Someone might be trying to reconcile. Someone might be trying to communicate again. That's coming through for some of you. Or if there's been particular conflict with a friend, it's like you're finally communicating about it. You're saying like, you know what? communication has not been good, we haven't been meeting each other's needs, whatever it is, that's going to be different. But I do feel like if there's been interpersonal conflict, there is going to be some kind of resolution, whether that means reconciling or that means like parting ways, um, whatever that, however that resonates with you. So we have these six of wands. We have the shaman or the hierophant. And we have the page of crystals or the page of, um, what is it? Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here is there is definitely a reason to celebrate. You have been like doing a lot of good work. And I feel like with this page of Pentacles, like maybe it's just been kind of slow, but you are getting a lot of divine wisdom. And I feel like maybe it's not manifesting externally. Maybe it hasn't been manifesting externally at the rate you want or at all. But I'm seeing here the Page of Pentacles is a very gradual, very steady increase in your material world. Things are looking up. Things are getting better. So celebrate that when it comes through versus, well, that wasn't as much as I wanted or I haven't gotten to this checkpoint yet. I feel like there's something coming through of really feeling grateful, really like 
the blessing coming through was you finding a gratitude mindset, finding an abundance mindset, even if part of you wishes there was more coming in, even if part of you was like, I could have done better, I should have done better, that's kind of phasing out because you're realizing that is not helpful. Saying like, oh, well, this person hurt me, that person lied to me, it's like, well, yes, that's true, but could we go out and like trust people again? Could we go out and meet people again? Does that say that I don't deserve good friends? Or can you get to a place where you say, well, sometimes bad things happen and regardless, I deserve good friends. That's what I'm seeing with the six of wands is you coming to a place where you meet people who are like a little more grounded, a little more steady, um, a little more practical and they communicate. That's what's coming through with the page of crystals. One, there could be good news coming through for you, especially like in work or if you've been waiting on someone to communicate with you. Again, if you feel like there's been a little piece of the truth missing, someone's coming through with that. But also, you're finding the truth that is, like, regardless of what people have given you or not given you in the past, like, you deserve to be confident. You, des you deserve to move forward towards, like, what you deserve. And I feel like you're seeing the truth of what you deserve, which is honesty and people who are steady and stable and who do show up for you. That's something I'm really seeing is, like, you have this beautiful Six of Wands confidence and you're attracting people who are just kind of more steady and stable. Now, another thing I'm seeing with the shaman is just you being able to really be rooted and grounded in this divine wisdom. If you've been doing a lot of learning, if you've been doing or going through a lot of lessons, I feel like you're getting to kind of a checkpoint with those lessons where you can reflect and you can actually enjoy your external world. That's what I'm seeing with that first blessing is like, You've been in this internal world of like finding your confidence, finding your self-worth, finding where you want to go, but wishing your external world would move forward a little bit. And you did cho choose the citrine and that did line up with the page of pentacles. So I'm seeing you have some pretty big goals. That's all fine and dandy. But if everything doesn't come through at once, Spirit is saying, please be grateful. It's still a blessing slow progress or steady progress is still a blessing. It's still abundance. It's still something to be thankful for. Um, and you are going through so much growth. So I know society really values like business growth and getting fatter paychecks, like way more than like spiritual growth, finding yourself worth, but that doesn't mean it's actually worth more. I mean, your spiritual growth stays with you, the connections you make stay with you, regardless of how long they last, the lessons you learn, the love you share. I feel like you're finding all these divine truths. That's something really coming through is you're really honoring them. Even if your external life might seem like it's not moving forward in the way that you want or as fast as you want, you're going to be able to really honor your progress, to really respect the work you do, to really respect the effort that you put in and how you do want to show up for people and how you do want to show up for yourself. So there's definitely like that sparkle coming back. There's definitely you feeling the divine connection. There's definitely you like attracting people who are like better suited to you, people who treat you, people who one, like have more self-worth so they're not going to project project too many insecurities on you, which I feel you might have faced in the past. But second, I feel like they are just going to respect you. That's something with the Six of Wands is like when you do experience success, when you do experience movement and forward progress, instead of being jealous, instead of getting weird, um, they're here to watch you grow. That's something I'm seeing, like, you know, with this bringing companionship, lining up, with the Page of Pentacles, as I said, and with the Six of Wands. This is you like finding friends who are celebrating your growth, who are not like, well, maybe you should do this, maybe you should do that, like all these unsolicited suggestions, or when you do succeed, it's never enough, or they get weirdly jealous, things like that. You're not attracting those people anymore, and if you're around those people, it's coming to light, and do what you will with that information. So... You were doing so much growth, group four. <laughs> I want to leave you with that. Like, it's very clear to me reading this that you've been going through a lot of spiritual development and you've been trying to, like, come to peace with, like, the way things are moving or not moving. 
the pace of things is probably not exactly what you want it to be but i do see you finding peace with that and you noticing that growth and in turn i i do see like you noticing more growth you seeing more like you reaping the benefits um and the rewards with the page of pentacles like you know a little more a little more cash coming in if that's what you're waiting for so that is what i have for you group four thank you so much for coming through um i hope you can feel more abundant and i will see you next time